Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Ragnarok on the Gaming Evolve server. I'm Flinger Foo, and today, well today, I have some building plans in mind. But, we're, I'm, I mean, last time we were on Ragnarok, I went out and I found a couple 228 wyverns. I wasn't able to get them to lay any eggs. But, um, hopefully I can get out there and I can see if they've been laying any eggs. So I want to go take a look at that. And also, I think today um, we're going to stop by a few of the loot areas. Because uh, there's a couple um, loot areas that I wanted to take a look at. Just to kind of see, you know, what kind of stuff uh, uh, we can find. So you know what? I mean, hey, I mean, I was going to do this off camera. But you know what? Hey, let's go take a look at these places. And uh, hey, um, let me see. I think I'm going to grab Peter Griffin here. Because he's our newest Griffin. And he looks pretty cool. <laughs> I'm kind of digging him. Um, when I first uh, got him, I'm like, you know what? He's all right. And then, you know what? Um, the more I look at him, he looks pretty dang cool. All right. And then also, um, another thing, we're, we're going to need to level up James Perry. I mean, he's just been chilling out here since we kind of tamed him. I mean, I, I took him all over the um, Ragnarok a couple times, but is your, XP, is your hit points going to... There we go. All right. We need to go get us a better Thylacolia. But yeah, so um, I think we're going to head out and about, and I need to go uh, see if I can get these. Also, I need to uh, go grab my uh, wyvern from over here. I need to go grab Sleep and bring him over to the new base. Yeah, <laughs> that's got to be a thing that has to happen. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, is Bob just hanging out down here? Huh. Oh, Sleet, you look insanely good. Just insanely good. <laughs> Even at a distance. And I'm kind of curious to see what kind of uh, wyverns we can get. So, Bob, dude, you gonna come down from there, man? Or you're just chilling. Oh, you don't know what's going on, do you? It's alright, man. It's alright. We'll, we'll work through this. Alright, um, come on, dude. Let's get you over here. Come on, man. Alright. Now, can you come down? Yeah? Thank you, Bob. All right. <laughs> All right, see, right here on the edge of this, it's actually, it's classified as water. So, you notice I'm sloshing all around? So where the griffins won't land on this stuff, on this wet sand. Yeah. So Bob is having a hard time with it. But yeah, um, I think with the new um, area that we're gonna be building over in, um, over at the base, it's going to be used to house all the additional Thinos. Now, I need to have a platform, and it's going to be a multi-tiered platform going up the waterfall. And I'm, I think I'm going to leave the back part of the um, waterfall area open so where we can see, you know, because, I mean, what, what good is building next to a waterfall if you can't, you know, actually take and look at the waterfall and go, ooh, purdy, right? So, I mean, come on. I mean, you got to have the purdy. So if we're going to have the purdy then, and we're going to store our dinos there, you know, and I mean, it's eventually it's probably just going to smell like a lot of poop and waterfall. But you know what? We could just we could sweep it into the water as it's rushing away and it'll be fine. Right. <laughs> so, hey, um, and also, as I'm coming up here, we're going to um, take a look at a few of the spots that I go that I frequent a lot um, when I'm is that a uterine. Oh, no, those are allosauruses, by the way, allosauruses on this map. They're just amazing. The, the best Allosaurus that I've ever seen are on the Ragnarok map. It's so cool. Um, but yeah, um, there's a couple. There's a bunch of spots up here that I frequent for gathering a bunch of resources. Right up here, inside this cave right here, this right here is where I go to gather all my crystal. And there's so much crystal up in here. Right, how much... Uh, I've got quite a bit of fur. Here, we'll put on some gloves. We'll go in shirtless. Is that going to work for you? Yeah, is that going to work? <laughs> yeah, we're still nice and warm. Nice and toasty. But yeah, um, right inside here. And here, I'll, I'll pop up the uh, coordinates here just so you guys know. Yeah, 32.2, 33.5. This right here, this is the spot where I go grab all my crystal. I mean, there's just so much crystal up inside here when there's not foundations with beds on it. And also, there's oil. Um, somebody was asking me, where do you find oil? Well, this right here is the cave. 31.1, uh, 33.9. 31 and the entrance to it is just, there's a whole bunch of entrances. This is just uh, on the inside of the glacier, really. And if you don't, if you can't get an oil pump or anything like that, you can just come up in here and you can just harvest the oil. Yeah, there's bears in here, but as long as you leave the bears alone, they'll be fine. And then if you come around down over here, there's a, oh, a spot over on the other side. 
get some velocity here. All right, there's a spot over here on the other side that uh, go down right inside of. Where are you? Where here you are? All right, um, this right here, this little uh, yeah gaping chasm down inside of here. Just fly down in here, and it gets a little cold down here, and it's like entering a cave. But you can just come right down in, and there's a bunch of loot down in here. It's really cool. I, I check this place regularly. Yeah, right down here is one. Bam. Now, in here, you really have to avoid the, uh... Whoa, Ascended Hatchet? Hey, <laughs> Ascended Claw. All right, cool. We're finding some good stuff. All right, now, um, the cave right here, on the inside of the cave right now, it's 32.3, or 35.8. But we'll come out to the beginning, the opening of the cave, and I'll show you guys really quick. And then we're going to go around on the inside of that and grab a whole bunch of uh, loot really quick. And then see what kind of loot we can get. All right, here, let me get up here really fast because I know it's going to be important. And you'll always lag coming out of this because it's it's treated just like a cave. Like right here? Yeah. And I was watching the dev live stream. Uh, about this, and even when they were going around, the guys who uh, made Ragnarok, when they were going around, they had a lag problem right there. All right, the entrance to the cave is 30.9, 37.8. All right, and I was paying very close attention, just making sure, you know, um, what, if the experiences I had, the, the devs themselves were having, and yeah, the answer is yes, they are. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's basically just weird loading, lag time, stuff like that. See, right here, here's... A bear. So this is what we call a cave bear out in the wild. Well, here, this is how we get rid of cave bears out in the wild. We smack them in the face and we run them off a cliff. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Idiots. All right. <laughs> so that's how we get the cave. Dude. I saw that. You just spawned in right in, right in front of my uh, loot. Get off my platform, man. Just get off there. Later, dude. Alright. It's what you get. Alright. Let's see, what do we get here? Hey, we... D oh, whoa, that's actually kind of cool. Um, But this right here, a 446 damage stone pick. I've always wanted one of those. No, not really. Not really at all. Alright, so let's get over... I mean, that pick is insane, though. I was having a conversation with uh, one of the guys on one of my Beginner's Guys videos, and he's like, Hey, you know, um, how long can I actually stick with this stone pick? And it's like, you can actually go with the stone pick for a long time, because when you're very first starting out, um, oh, what do we got here? Raptor saddle? Stego saddle? Hey, <laughs> yoink. All right, I mean, you can stick with them for a long time, because, I mean, it, you can just repair them on the fly, so it's actually kind of beneficial. But when you get up into the higher stuff, where stuff takes more resources, stuff like that, you need the metal stuff. So, because, I mean, they just gather more. So, but this stone pick right here, I wonder how much it would gather. You know what? We're going to have to go take a look at that. Ascendant ghillie boots with only 38 armor. Oh, for shame. Dude. All right. And I don't know why my GPS keeps opening. Being a little turd is what it's being. All right. Um, and then there's another loot over here in this corner. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five in here. And... And then also this right here, this is the spot where you go uh, down for the uh, um, brood mother. Well, not the brood mother, the ice queen. And uh, I'll be right back one sec. I have to sneeze. Ooh, crisis averted. All right. <laughs> so, oh, hey, I got more stuff. Hey, I got my own hat, so I don't have to borrow the GE guys anymore. Sweet. And an ascendant uh, thing. And I guess the loot on this server has turned up quite a bit. It's only because we're on the um, higher level difficulty than the uh, regular servers. But, I um, mean, I've gotten some really good stuff inside there. So, yeah, go check it out. Loot Cave. It's where it's at. Yep. All right, so let's come out here and let's go see uh, if we can find some Ice Wyvern eggs. We're just going to do a brief once-over over there. Lag as we're coming out of here. And then after that, we're going to head over because I, I want to see if I can build some stuff. All right? See you guys in a bit. First Ice Wyvern nest of the day. Oh yeah, nailed it. All right, let's see what we get. Because Ice Wyvern eggs are like a box of chocolate. All right, let's... You Tyrannus down. 66? You suck. Dude, all right, where's the 66 guy? I must kill you. Effective immediately. You must leave my area. 66. 
Are you? No, you're 228. I want to leave you alone. It's nice to see that one of the 228s is around here. Where's the 66 guy? I'm overheating in the murder snow. Oh, dude, no. 228, and there's a 66 over there. You guys are just mingling over there, huh? Oh, man. You look cool, though. Maybe we'll just have to hatch you just to see what kind of color your egg is. Because you look pretty. All right, well, we'll come back here in a minute. And I'm overheating here. I'm going to need some water. All right, so uh, let's go take a look at these other locations over here. Let's see. Um, and I also just realized that I brought Bob. I was supposed to be bringing uh, Peter out. Because Peter, I really want to level him up. Um, and I, I leveled them up quite a bit earlier, but I want to level them up more. One of those things has to happen. Oh, another uteranus down there. Dude, you suck. All right, and there's no uh, egg here. All right, let's head over this way. The other one's over here. I love how fast the griffins are. It's so cool. And you get the feeling that it's fast. Oh, no. Nothing here. All right. Well, let's head over to the log. Sweet. There's one here. All right. Let's see what we get. All right. I'm not going to get in. I am going to get in when I pick that up. So let's just put that there. Drop the meat. Unless you want some of that. Oh. All right. 60? Ah, oh, you jerks. All right, where's the 60, dude? You must die. Are you the 60, dude? Are you gonna be like, no, I'm level 228 in your 60 area. No, you're 60. You're dead, dude. Oh, I got an RG. Come on, dude. Oh, no. I, I meant to hit you a lot faster than that. Okay. All right. Fine. Get way up there, and we'll just kind of dive bomb them. Or miss them. Got him that time. Right in the snaws. Oh, yeah. That's where you hit dragons, is in the snaws. Wyverns. Whatever. Oh, dude, you knocked me out of the air. Not cool, man. There you go. Now you're toast. Just enjoy being meat waffles on the ground. All right, so yeah, we're gonna head back over. Um, you know what? Let's head over this way really quick. Just see if that 228 dropped an egg. All right, but you know, what? <laughs> so yeah, let's get over there, and then we're gonna head back to base, and then I'm gonna see if we can run out of stamina along the way. No, um, build up a structure along as we're adding to the base because I'm having a lot of fun with that base, and the base is turning out quite nice, and I like it. Like it a lot. All right, see you guys in a bit. I was finally able to get the level 66 guy off on his own. Yeah, you're going down, dude. Oh, oh, there's 156 Rhino. Okay. All right, so, yeah. Let's go see if there's an egg in either of these spots really quick. And that is not the spot really quick. Right, over here. Nope, no egg. All right? I've noticed that these two areas, I mean, while they do drop eggs, it's not nearly as often as the other two. The one by the log, and then the one over here on the edge of the cliff. Those two just seem like a much higher percentage um, chance of uh, getting eggs that go there. Maybe it's just the wyverns in the area are more active? I don't know. I don't know. 
All right, so it looks like we've uh, eliminated our eggs. 228's probably just hanging around. Well, I'll let her hang around. All right, so let's head back to base. Also, I got to pick up Peter and then apologize to him because I, I told him I was taking him out, but, you know, I ended up taking out Bob. Yeah, it's one of those things. He'll understand, I think. Maybe. Probably not. He'll be mad at me for a while. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, and we're back, and I'm sorry, Peter. I mean, I've apologized to him for a while. I don't think he's buying it. I mean, he's he's just a little mad at me. Oh, 12 levels already on you, dude? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this guy's awesome. Just absolutely amazing. Right? Yeah, that's just awesome. All right, let's see. Uh, let's get you some more stamina, because you need it. All right. Come on, regenerate your stamina. Yeah, there you go, buddy. All right, let's see. Um... Let's go with that and that. All right, now let's get these guys back to base. Oh, yeah. Come on. All right. Base is just right over here. Now, what I'm thinking about here, I'll walk you guys through it really quick, and then I think I'm going to do a uh, speedy up bit as we uh, um, do this building because I just want you guys to um, see all the stuff I um, am building on this as I build it. So I think I'm just going to do another one of those. Um, a, a lot of people seem to like them. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's, uh... Get you... There we go. Can you guys land? There we go. All right. Now, I'm, what I want to do, I want to preserve all of the trees in the area. I want to make sure that what has I build stuff... It has as little of an impact on the area around me as possible. And that's the idea. Can I? <laughs> I nailed it. All right. And also, um, I want to cut down on the amount of uh, um, plant species X plants I have up there. But I'm going to basically just be transplanting them up there. So, yeah. And the idea is, I think I want to have a little platform that comes from the edge of this area right here. Maybe I'll build out a little bit like this where there'll be a nice ramp that comes up like this and then it'll span this area and then it'll have like stairs on the side that go up to a multi-tiered platform where I can park, park all my dinos. I can start getting kibble and stuff like that for all the uh, dinos and stuff. And then I can put a collector up there to gather all the eggs for me. Yeah, that sounds pretty fun. Um, yeah. I'm kind of digging it. And then also, I plan on working with the natural curve of this waterfall. So it's going to start right here, and it'll come out like this, but then there'll be a big platform that comes in like this, and then comes around like that, and then comes back right up like this. Yeah, and I'm going to do it all in the castles and keeps. I mean, I could do this with uh, regular um, building stuff, but I want to do it with castle ke castles and keeps because I like the way the castles and keep looks, and I want to continue to go with this general effect so where it looks really cool like this. And that thing's the oddball. But, alright, so yeah. Um, oh, I, I need water. Where's my water? Oh, I need water. Can I just refill my canteen right here? Ah, nailed it. Alright, so yeah, let's get this stuff uh, going, alright? See you guys in a minute.
we're back. All right. So, hey, how did you like that? I hope it was pretty good because I had a lot of fun doing it, zipping around on the uh, grappling hook and stuff. And see, look over there. You can barely see it. And that's what I was going for right there. And so where we can have the multi-tiered platform effect. And then I made sure to make them all hollow. We'll go take a look at it here in a minute. But I, I wanted it to have a minimalistic impact on the environment around because this is such a pretty area. All right, so in order to actually even see it, you have to come up like this. And I've already got a few dinos over here. Um, this right here is going to be um, the spot where I put the griffins. Yeah, I mean, this is really cool. I'm digging this. And there's one spot right here where I couldn't put a railing. I just need to put a um, pillar down there. Um, and then down inside here, I actually left this open just like this. Where I can come down and I can see stuff like this. So it's not completely closed off. Because here, take a look at this one down here. Um, oh. Oh, no, that will not... Oh, I made one. That's right, I did. I made one. I need another. Do I have... No, I don't. All right. <laughs> but, yeah. And so I, I made this like this, where it went all the way up. And then I fully enclosed off um, this, for well, for the most part. Because, I mean, face it, this right here, and I'm going to end up fixing this. Um, this right here, it it's just not as it it, it just doesn't have the same effect. It it just it just doesn't it, it doesn't pop as well as it should. Now this down here, this is an area where I can put um, all sorts of stuff I just don't want seen. Um, when it comes to dinos, you know, troughs, stuff like that. And also, if I wanted to, um, which I think I might, I can actually put a few hatch frames over here, and I can do the whole you know breeding with the you know. The holes where the babies fall down, you know, and then I don't have to see it. Nobody has to see it. All you do is get the big red death. Man, you don't even get that. So, hey, <laughs> that'll work. All right, so now we uh, come up here, and I've got some doors that I built just for this kind of stuff. All right, and I got this right here. Now, um, I'm not sure if I want to put one of the uh, gates right here. This actually turned out looking all right. I mean, it's not the... Oh, and I need to put some walls here <laughs> to block these. Um, but yeah, I couldn't put uh, foundations here. I'm sure you'll see it in the... Uh, I'm sure you saw it in the uh, sped up little bits. That I just couldn't put a foundation here, no matter how hard I tried. Um, yeah, but up here, I can put all sorts of stuff. You know, like storage and stuff like that. So I can just transfer it from my dinos. And then um, down here, I can put another um, crafting table. So where I can just use the... Um, Oh, the transfer gun and immediately transfer over now this there's another spot where I didn't record and this is this right be that we got a toilet up here I just have to run some water right but yeah I mean we got toilet up here oh yeah I mean how many people has wished they had a toilet like this well I got one in a video game but hey still Alright, I still got a toilet that sits way up here in the air, in the mountain breeze, neck, you know, in between two waterfalls, on top of a waterfall, right down below a waterfall. There is no better place to ponder the existence of foos than up here. Alright? Just no better place. I mean, come on. Come on. Alright? I mean, that's like the best spot for a toilet ever. All right, so, yeah, we've got that. All right, but now that we've got this stuff done, I think now I'll... Oh, and another thing, another spot that um, I have to show this really quick before I head out because I really want to go see if those wyverns um, gave us any eggs out in the wild. But, yeah, I mean, up here, now I actually can get up here very easily for all of my wyvern needs so i can put bob back up here and he can you know go back into turret mode if i want him to and then i've got sleet up here oh man sleet you know i just cannot get over how amazingly cool you look oh yeah you're awesome looking dude let's keep leveling man we'll take you out here in a little bit all right and then this you know this right here uh, i wanted to make it the same kind of architecture that i did down below just in a smaller version i think i did it pretty well um, and the only thing is, is the, uh, dungeon door right here. I'm not sure if I want to, uh, have a dungeon door here. And I think I might actually want to bring out a, uh, um, a balcony right over here. It's where it kind of extends out a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments down below if you like that. Um, if I should use the dungeon door as well, because down here we've got the dungeon door as well. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that a lot. All right. And, uh, yeah, way over here. Let me show you. Avoid the pillars. Come on. Come on. All right. 
Yeah, these right here, these dungeon doors, I like these. That's what these are. They're the dungeon doors. It's kind of cool. And also, I use that for the tower here as well. I, I, I kind of dig the tower. All right. But yeah. All right. And I like the windows. All right. But yeah, all right. So let's uh, grab uh, Oh Peter, and then we're going to head out and see if we can go find ourselves another ice wyvern egg. And then also, I think eventually here soon, I want to get out... Oh, I, I put all my stuff on, Peter, didn't I? Did I put all my stuff on you? I did! All right, well, here, let's just let's transfer all that over, and then I'm just going to drop my doors and stuff off on... Um, here you go. There you go, buddy. All right, um, and uh, Peter, I took your food, dude. I don't want that. That, that, oh, and all the mutton spoiled. Oh, man. I was enjoying the fact that you were holding on to mutton, but keep all the sulfur, because we're going to end up needing that. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, where did I have this stuff? I had that there, then I had that there, and then I had that there, then that there, and then that was over there, actually, and then this was right there, so I can share the destinations of every place that we go out to. All right. But yeah, I'm digging it. I think it looks pretty cool. And then uh, the way I built it, actually, um, I actually intended to uh, build it so where I can act I can come across like this, over to this section, and I can build another tiered platform section up here. Yeah, just on this um, hill up here. Yeah, that's that's a build for another day. That's gonna take a long time, but I'm really, really digging the way that turned out. All right. So let's head... Uh, uh, I got caught on you, dude. Sorry, Bert. All right, so let's head over to the Ice Wyverns. Let's, uh, well, you know what? Let's go get some more loot here really quick, and then we're going to head over to the Ice Wyverns, all right? See you guys in a minute. Red drop. You guys aren't going to mess with me, are you? All right, don't mess with me, please. Oh, sweet. Ascended long neck. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Let's take a look at the... Oh, you're really low. Super high durability, really low damage. What's the damage on this one? 182. Well, it's still a little bit better, I guess. Um, durability is amazing on that side. All right, the durability, it's amazing. All right, all right. All right, another red drop. Can we make it? I don't know. I just ended. I just left the loot cave, and I'll I'll show you what I got here in this. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give loot. Ooh, ascended pike schematic. Ooh, woolly rhino. Hey, all right, that's good stuff. All right, so let's take a look. Um, this is what I got from the loot cave. Well, you guys already saw that and that and that. This is already made. All right, and then I got this shotgun, uh, equus saddle, an ascended equus saddle. That's awesome. All right, uh, and I still need to move over my Equus from the other area. And then an Ascendant Gallimimus saddle. Maybe I'll go give that to Sinsat because he's always making uh, Gallimimus jokes. And then, um, oh, an Ascendant stone pick. Mean, yeah, I guess. And a Gilly uh, wooden club. That's pretty cool. All right, uh, Chitin uh, chest piece and Ascendant claw shirt. Uh, and then uh, the pike. Jeez, my God, Wooly Rhino Saddle? That's awesome stuff. All right, over to the Wyverns. All right, first spot, nothing. Nothing, that really sucks. Make sure. And uh, it just occurred to me, I'm in the murder snow without a shirt on. This is a pretty good uh, fur armor. <laughs> hey, all right, cool. All right, so let's get over here, take another look. Now, I've been checking these things all the time. Uh, I mean, every every time I'm on this server, I check these things. Probably. Oh no, I'm cold. Oh, I check these things probably about probably about five or six times a day. So <laughs> yeah. All right, and I think also here pretty soon I want to start getting into the regular wyverns. I want a, a fire wyvern and a lightning wyvern as as well, maybe even a poison wyvern, because poison wyverns are green. And, I mean, I've got to have my green. But, yeah. Alright, so let's get over to the log, and let's see if we can get anything there. So far, I mean, that's the last three. Uh-oh, I need my shirt on, finally. Where is my shirt? There. Damn. Alright. So, yeah, let's get over there. 
out of my way, dude. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm flying here, man. Oh, now I'm overheating in the murder snow. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, so, yeah, um, we're going to head over there, and then we'll see if we can get it, because the last three, nothing is uh, dropped. So, let's hope. All right, see you guys in a minute. It's nothing. Wyvern's being extra stingy today. Are there any Wyvern spawns in the area? I, I've only seen that one 228 today. So I haven't seen any others. Huh. I was hoping that in the entire time while I was building that, because I didn't check on it at all during that, but I was hoping that during that time at least one wyvern egg would spawn, but instead, nope. I wonder if Jim's online snagging them. I don't think he is. All right, well, hey, I think that's going to do it for the episode. I, we're going to go on really long if I uh, try to uh, find some more. Oh, I'm out of... No, no, no. Well, here, let me... Pay. All right, so, hey, take it easy, everybody. As I work my way down here. At least there's no wyvern or uh, wolves down here. All right, so, hey. If you guys liked the episode, click that like button. I really appreciate that. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everybody. Ooh, all right, so, um... Hey, uh, Peter, you gonna bring up there with the stamina, buddy? Yeah? You need to work on your stamina. What is it? 2,000. Pretty good. All right. Well, hey, let's go see if we can find some more wyvern eggs, buddy. Get some on the way back. Take it easy, everyone.